The American Kennel Club says the three most popular dog breeds in the United States are Labrador Retrievers, German Shepherds, and Yorkshire Terriers. Every so often, the AKC expands its registered list of breeds, and CBS News correspondent and resident veterinarian Dr. Debbie Turner-Bell is here to show us the three newest. And this is a big deal that they're actually allowing some new dogs to be recognized. It is a big deal. Uh, it takes a lot of work, and we can talk about that as the segment goes along, to get a breed recognized by the AKC. So that these are the three newest that mm -hmm. was just announced last week. Just announced last week. They are here with us in the studio this morning. So without yes. further ado, we should meet them. The first one being the Entley Booker Mountain Dogs. These are these are in the Swiss Mountain go. Dog family. Yes, these are one of four types of Swiss Mountain Dogs. They're the smallest of them. We have six-month-old Bjorn, who is the smallest one standing that slightly face. in front. There you go. Leave Turn it, it to, to the, the camera, baby Bjorn. to show Jack. And then eight-year-old Frida. And then this is Sandra, their owner. And aren't they beautiful dogs? They, they sort of remind you of Bernese Mountain Dogs, they don't do. they? They do. They have such sweet uh, faces. Sort of without the, uh, without the hair. These dogs actually were named after a town in Switzerland, mm -hmm. in Lebuc, and uh, they were bred to be cattle drivers. And so over they're time, herders. They are in the herding group, and they are herders. Over time, they became guardians of livestock. And although they're small, don't let their size fool you. They can even manage uh, animals as large as horses and hogs. So this is a, a working dog, very determined, extremely smart. Needs a lot of exercise, I would imagine. As is true of every dog in this group, these dogs are meant to work, to herd, and so they need exercise and outlets. And this is what I like to say, they need a job, a J-O-B. Yeah. And if you don't give them a job, they will find a job, and you won't like the job exactly. that they find. Exactly, yeah. so it's better that you choose the job for them. And Excellent. they're a nice sized dog, because they get up to about, I mean, my dog's 85, 90 pounds, so I like big dogs, but they get up to about 66 pounds, which is pretty manageable. They can, you know, they're considered to be, you know, a, a medium-ish to, to large dog, yeah. but they, you know, they do need a little space. They mainly just need the activity, but if you have a smaller home, particularly if a fenced in yard, then they would do just fine. And right. incidentally, they're a great pet. They're an ideal family pet. They're good with kids. They are a little wary around strangers. And we even saw that this morning when Sandra came in and we all here, employees of CBS, yeah. love the dogs. We came up and said, oh, da, da, da. and uh, particularly Bjorn, who's still young and learning his manners, he, you know, he withdrew just a little bit. Which is kind of nice actually for a family because you want a dog mm -hmm. who's going to protect your children, protect your family. So that's a nice little added bit of comfort perhaps for parents. Absolutely. And it just underlines the importance of proper socialization mm -hmm. when they're young. They need to be socialized well. They need to be behavior trained. And of course, they need the, that exercise. Very important. Up next for us is the Nor Sandra, thank Norwegian you. London, Ho London Hund. Is London that correct? Hund. London Otherwise Hund. known as the Puffin Dog. There we go. The Norwegian Lundehund. This is Harvey, who is uh, oh, with Harvey. Aowen. And isn't this the cutest little dog? Look at little Aowen. <laughs> Look at Aowen. Harvey's little thumb. I know they're not thumbs, but I'm calling them no, thumbs. No, the, the ones on the top are called dew claws, but that's one of the anatomical uniquenesses of this dog. They have six toes mm. on every foot, including a dew, a dew claw. And uh, they also have a few other anatomical interesting things about them. Their neck, and we're not going to demonstrate this on camera, but they have an extra joint or articulation in their neck, their yeah. cervical vertebrae, and they literally can look up over the back of their head all the way back to the top of their head, touches their degrees, back, basically. 180 degrees, and their their uh, scapula, her shoulders, are, uh, are are built so that they can uh, splay their front legs out very wide. This is huh. why these dogs were bred to hunt the puffin bird yep. in northern Norway, uh, Norway, and these birds were in nests on very steep cliffs. So these dogs have an anatomy that they could literally scale the cliff to get to the puffin bird in the nest. That's fascinating. But if they fell, they could sort of hug it. To, to break their fall, keep them from falling. That's really neat dog. Now these dogs have uh, just great personalities. They're extremely loving uh, and uh, very extremely playful, too, very right? playful. Absolutely, and um, they make a good family dog. They can also be wary of strangers. Right. So again, it requires that good socialization yeah. at a young age. Know your pet. Age. And this for someone who's looking for a small dog, they're about 10 to 15 pounds, which is a great size, no matter what. Absolutely. Home, home size I home will is. point out, and this is typical of dogs that are from northern regions, it is a double-coated dog, which means there is a soft undercoat, a rough outer coat, and also means there's a lot of hair involved. A so lot you of hair. want regular brushing. Yes. You don't have to take them to do a professional grooming, no. but you want to brush them regularly because you'll end up with hair I everywhere. have one of those. Ooh, it's a lot of hair. <laughs> but it helps keep them cool in the summer, so he doesn't get shaved for that very you reason. We leave the hair exactly on. exactly right. So lastly, that's Aowen with Harvey. Thank you very much. Lastly, we have the Sholowitz Quindley. You're very good. I've now, been can, practicing. Can you spell it? <laughs> 
<laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> these, are, these are an ancient breed. In fact, they're the oldest breed in the Americas. They're from the jungles of Mexico. And if you see, it looks like we have two different breeds of dog. Yeah. They are the same breed in two different varieties. A coated variety, of course, the black dog, and then a hairless variety. Uh, and um, in fact, it was registered before with the AKC and lost its registration as the Mexican hairless dog. But this dog has a fascinating lost history. Yes, it was Ooh. developed by the, the, by the Aztec now. Indians, and they were believed to have healing powers because the hairless dog, mm -hmm. the body heat is right there on the surface. And so they would put the dog in the bed with elderly animals, or excuse me, elderly people, or people that suffered from arthritis, and the heat would be curative and therapy for them. Huh. And so they were believed to have curative uh, powers. This dog, however, Erica, is not a dog, not a dog for what I call the amateur. These dogs need a lot of socialization, a lot of training, and they need a lot of attention. So if you're gone 12 hours a day, this is this not, is the, not dog the dog for you. And these come in three different sizes. They come in three different too. sizes. Yes, absolutely. They come. Thank you for saying that. And toy, miniature, and standard. <laughs> Standards can go up to 40, maybe even 60 wow. pounds. So they can get uh, very big. But these dogs require time and attention. So you got to know that, that going in. In mind, you've got 10 seconds. Three most important things when you're choosing a dog. You got to know what you want the dog for. Is it going to be a couch potato or out running? with you. You've got to then research the breed and match the natural tendencies of the dog to the lifestyle that you live. And then the third thing is you've got to realize that animals take time, money, and attention. And if you don't have those three to give them what they need, you should not be getting a dog. Get a rock. Debbie, good to have you with us. <laughs>